Hey YouTubers, good morning, Rob Muffin. Guys, I'm here in the kitchen making breakfast. Before I start a breakfast, I have to check my email. And uh, then I have to check Drudge. And they had a story on Drudge about Paul Lind, who was uh, one of the funniest persons I've ever seen on TV. And it got me thinking about all the years I've watched television and comedy. I don't watch television anymore. Basically, I watch YouTube. I gave up television. But for decades, I watched comedy. And uh, I started thinking about the funniest things I've ever seen on TV. And I thought I would just... <laughs> I would share them. Um, that's my stove alarm. Um, top five things I've ever seen on TV. Top funniest. Let's start with Paul Lind. Um, one time he was on Hollywood Squares. And they asked him, said, Paul, why do motorcycle gangs wear leather. And Paul replied, uh, <laughs> because chiffon wrinkles. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Um, yeah, Paul was a treasure. Um, another person that was funny back then was Carol Burnett. You never hear about her nowadays. And uh, women comedians don't get enough respect, I don't think. I don't know if she ever did stand up. But she was hilarious. She had one episode on her television show where they were doing a skit about Gone with the Wind, Civil War era. This is very visual. It's not going to be the same as, as watching it. I'll, I'm going to try to find clips of all the things that I talk about. And you can click on them and see what I'm talking about. But she was doing a Civil War episode. And it was Gone with the Wind. And everything was in ruins. The South had lost, the Union had destroyed everything, and she had to go to a party, and there was no way to wear any dresses, so she made a dress out of a curtain in the window with the curtain rod that was sticking out like this, and it looked hilarious. And a woman at the party asked her where she got the dress, and Carol said that, oh, it was just something she saw in the window, <laughs> and it was, <laughs> you have to see it, it it's a... Uh, it's a lot funnier than I made it sound. Uh, I remember laughing and laughing. It's because, I don't know, I mean, I, I laughed at stuff as a little kid. That I still think it's funny. I don't care. I'll, I'll, I'll leave a link to it. The third one was Lenny and Squiggy. They never got any respect. I thought they were the best part of Laverne and Shirley. Um, Squiggy was walking around in one show with a jar of bugs, his collection of moths and bugs and stuff. And, they were in a cafeteria at work, and he dropped the jar, and it broke, and he jumped up on the table. And then he looked down, and he said, from up here, they look just like little ants. <laughs> it's still funny to me. Uh, that's one of the funniest lines I've seen, heard on television. Um, the fourth one was Les Nesman on WKRP. He was my not favorite, but I think he was the funniest character on WKRP, and they had a lot of funny people on that show. It's a great show. Um, they had an episode where it was Thanksgiving, and they wanted to give away free turkeys to the people to publicize the radio show, the radio station. So the radio station had a big announcement where people were to come to the parking lot of the shopping center and they were going to give them free turkeys. Well, they decided to give them free live turkeys. And they were going to drop them from a helicopter. And the turkeys would fly down and the people would get them, I guess. Well, Les Nesman was doing a live action newscast of the event. And um, when they started dropping the turkeys out, the turkeys couldn't fly, and they just started falling down on people's heads. <laughs> and Les Nesman made it sound like the crash of the Hindenburg. It was, it was, uh, it's, it's a treasure. It's, it's, uh, it's hilarious. Um, that was a good one. The fifth one was um, Taxi. Uh, for, who was the character who played Jim? I, uh, my mind just went blank. But you guys remember Jim, the guy who was dim-witted, he talked really slow, and um, great character, by the way. Everybody on there was great. Um, 
but he had to go get his driver's license. So everybody went with Jim to the Department of Motor Vehicles to get his driver's license. So he's in there taking the test, and Jim got to a question on the test. His friends weren't too far away. He said, What does a yellow light mean? And they turned to him and said, Slow down! Jim said, what does a yellow light mean? <laughs> Slow down! <laughs> what does a yellow light mean? What does a yellow light mean? <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was one of my favorites. Um, honorable mention goes to um, Barney Miller. When the guy who played the Chinese detective, he had a gambling problem. <laughs> His name was Nick on the show. And he had a horse to bet on. And it was called Pick Me Nick. <laughs> he couldn't help himself. He had to bet on a horse. His name was Nick and it said Pick Me. <laughs> and I thought that was, if you ever bet on horses, that was pretty funny. Uh, Pick Me Nick. <laughs> he had to bet on it. Um... A lot of good episodes in that show. Um, so, those are my five. If you guys can think of any that are funnier to you or just as funny, leave uh, comments in the, the comment section and I'll try to find links for those shows that I talked about because they're a lot funnier than I, I made them sound and you got to see them anyway. Um, so, I thought I'd bring a little humor to the situation we're in right now. And uh, I have a comedy playlist on my channel of people that I've seen that I think should get more attention and some of the comedy videos I've made. This isn't a comedy video. This... <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoy this and uh, I'll see you out there.